Yo, what's good? It's your boy KG, the one that loves God, fears God, and I love the game of basketball. Boy, oh boy, my fingers are crossed for a trade, but it's looking like we might not get lucky for a trade, but the buyout market looks promising. Now, the only thing with the with the trade is that we don't really have valuable assets like that. Alex Abrines, I don't know what kind of health issues he has. I, I, I hope that he has a speedy recovery because I know what it's like to have a lot of health uh, concerns and issues, and it's, it's nothing to play with. Like I, I'd rather be 100% healthy than 100% rich, and, and I put that on everything. Like Health is very important. But like I said, um, we don't have any valuable assets to really trade away. Um, people probably want Steven Adams, Terrence Ferguson, and Schroeder. Of course, they're going to want Paul George. We're not giving up those guys. So we're left with, you know, Alex Sabrina as possibly Hamadou Diallo, which I don't think is going to go anywhere. And Alex Sabrina is, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. People don't really, we don't have nothing to really work with as far as like trade goes. So don't be surprised if we don't see a trade. I'm not counting this out. Sam Presti is known for working magic. So I'm hoping that he does something. Um, but like I said, I'm still having hopes for the buyout market if a trade doesn't happen. Um, in other news, could it be possible, and I'm asking you guys, could it be possible that the Pelicans played the Lakers? Um, when I tell you, the Pelicans GM, I'll be upset too. You're tampering with my star player. After you guys had dinner, he wants to go to your team now. Now, could it be possible that out of spite, out of pure, oh, you going to do us like this? Could it be possible that the Pelicans GM made the Lakers believe that they was going to do a trade with them only to mess up their chemistry? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. That's a brilliant move. See, that's one thing about trade rumors. I hate the fact that they put out the players that that they're, they're talking about trading because if they don't trade them, they're going to always hold some kind of resentment towards that team, towards that organization. The chemistry is just going to be all over the place. That's the only thing about trade talks. That's the only thing. So I'm glad that Sam Presti, when he was, um, you know, making little trade requests, talking about who he wants and all that, that we didn't see names pop up on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always felt like that. I'm like, yo, why are they putting it out there who they going to trade? And if it doesn't work out, they're going to be mad with them. I don't care what nobody say. They're going to still play and get their money, but they're going to feel a certain way to that GM. It's crazy. Let me know what y'all think, man. Count down to the trade deadline is today february 7th at 3 p.m let me know what y'all think man love y'all the lord peace